The most pressing challenge among both private and public water utilities in the Philippines is providing access to water by the poor, both in urban and rural areas. In the process, water utilities have to contend with meeting environmentally friendly standards and at the same time protecting and investing in their workers so they are motivated and productive. The majority of workers in the public water utilities do not have representation in the making of workplace or reform decisions. This challenges efforts to address structural problems because they do not participate when designing reforms of the processes they know well. Water utilities in the Philippines come in various models. Water districts are headed by autonomous boards, are government-funded, and hence, considered government-controlled municipal entities. The Local Water Utilities Administration, or LUA, has formed 460 operation water districts, serving 13 million rural Filipinos. Almost all of these water districts are viable enterprises. Community-based organizations such as the 3,100 Barangay Water Services Associations, 500 Rural Water Supply Associations, and 200 Water Cooperatives are operating nationwide. Small-scale water service providers, on the other hand, range from real estate operators, homeowners associations, and individual entrepreneurs. Studies indicate that they may be providing water to up to 30% of the populations of Metro Manila and Cebu. Local government units, or LGUs, also manage and operate water utilities because it is one of the many basic services passed on to them. Currently, there are 1,000 LGU-run utilities at the provincial, municipal, and barangay levels. Private operators, on the other hand, are corporations operating in Metro Manila and a few smaller cities. Like most other countries, Philippine public water utilities workers are represented by unions that could provide inputs in management decisions. Key players in the Philippine water utilities sector have identified and pursued the adoption of social dialogue under the sponsorship of the International Labor Organization, or ILO. The United Nations Agency, which promotes decent work, varied forms of dialogue between management and employees have been applied according to the specific needs of the workers. Basically, the most effective based on our experience is really open communication. Uh, wala kami mga bagay na hindi yun namin pwedeng pag-usapan. Alam nila na kung hanggang saan ang limitation ng company when, when it comes to negotiation. Alam ko din kung ano ang kanilang pinanggagalingan when they ask for certain things from us. Dinidiscuss nila lahat sa akin. So hindi ako nawawala kung saan ang direksyon ng opisina. Mm -hmm. Ayun lang isang maganda dito sa management namin. Wala sila itinatago sa akin. Planchado ba usapan namin? Although social dialogue works in some models of water utilities, labor, economic, and social issues are not addressed among employees in small water providers which comprise a greater number. Workers in these models of water utilities may take a longer time to reach a point where their concerns translate to favorable management policies. We know when we look around the world and over the last 90 years, we see that social dialogue is the cornerstone for achieving decent and productive work. When you bring workers and management together to address problems, to look at best practices, how do you make something more efficient? How do you make the workplace safer? All of this impacts the bottom line, and that's productivity. Especially in the water utility sector, where you're so reliant on individuals who are working in that sector to understand you know, the sensitive nature of how to make water safe how to get access to water. These workers having a voice will make that industry more competitive. In privately owned water utilities, labor unions are organized and engage in social dialogue at the local level with their managements. Improving public service delivery, especially by the water utilities, requires that the labor force which directly contributes towards the attainment of such goal be given a voice, be allowed to contribute to the improvement of the service, 
and develop a sense of ownership in the service they provide to the population. Industrial or social peace can be obtained by increasing the rights and competencies of workers, users, water providers, and government agencies to participate in the social dialogue process, and thus providing them with the confidence and capacity that is necessary to make informed and sound decisions in order to be active players in the improvement of service in the water sector.